And finally, we will discuss cutting conditions in milling. The cutting speed is determined at the outside diameter of a milling cutter. So in a way, it is similar to a drilling operation because cutting speed relates to the outside diameter of the cutter. And this can be converted to spindle rotation just in the same manner as you saw in the case of turning and drilling, same formula. And here D is the diameter of the cutter. Surface speed is how fast the metal comes into contact with the tool at the a cutting point on a lathe, it is the rate at which the surface of the stock or the workpiece passes uh, the cutting tool. So in the case of lathe, we, we took into account the diameter of the stock or the workpiece. But on a milling machine, it is the rate at which the milling cutter, milling cutter moves past the stock uh, or the raw material. So this takes into account the diameter of the cutter. So in the case of lathe, the diameter of the workpiece or the stock, and in the case of milling, the diameter of the cutter. So the cutting speed is sometimes also called surface feet per minute. So it is the number of feet per minute that a given point on the circumference of a cutter travels per minute. So that is the definition of cutting speed in the case of milling. Just like in the case of turning and drilling, we have tables like this. So for a certain a uh, workpiece uh, uh, cutter material combination uh, using certain type of cutters. We can see the values for feed and speed, the optimum and average values. And once again, this feed is in thousands of an inch, so it is 0 0.007, and cutting speed is in feet per minute. That's all an example. A milling machine uses a carbide tooth cutter to mill a copper block. The diameter of the cutter is eight inches. Calculate the RPM. So again, we have to look up for the recommended cutting speed uh, from the tables like the one we saw on the previous slide. So from such table, we have found this wheel to be 30 feet per minute. So 12V over pi D turns out to be 143 revolutions per minute. And practically, we can select a value closer to the 143 value, depending upon the uh, values that, uh, that are available on our milling machine. The feed in the case of milling is usually given as feed per cutter tooth. So it is different in the case of milling in contrast to turning and drilling. Uh, so in that case, it was uh, feed per revolution, inches per revolution or millimeters per revolution, but here it is inches or millimeters per cutter tooth. So this can be converted to feed rate, the distance in inches or millimeter per minute that the work moves into the cutter. So this feed in the case of milling is with respect to uh, work or the stock, the linear distance that the workpiece moves uh, per cutter tooth in the case of feed and the linear distance that the workpiece moves uh, per minute in the case of feed rate. So the feed rate is equal to feed into RPM. So this part is the same as we have seen for turning and drilling, but it has to be multiplied by number of teeth on the cutter. Formula for the machining time is the same, the length of cut divided by feed rate. And just like drilling here, we also add approach allowance. And this approach allowance for a milling cutter depends upon the type of cutter used and the size of the cutter as related to the width of the material being removed. So as you may know that we have, generally speaking, two types of milling operations. So we have peripheral milling and face milling. So in peripheral milling, the axis of the cutter is parallel to the surface being cut. And in the, in the case of face milling, the axis is perpendicular to the surface being cut. So in this uh, session, we will be focusing on face milling. So we will be milling, a, uh, the, milling the workpiece that has a certain uh, width, W, and a certain length, L, using a cutter that has a certain diameter, D, and certain number of teeth. 
So we will be focusing on this, uh, this type of milling that is the face milling. So first possibility is that if a face milling cutter is the exact diameter as the width of the work. So this diameter of the cutter and this width of the workpiece are equal. The approach is one half the diameter of the cutter. So this is the approach. So once this cutter has moved half its diameter or equal to the radius of this cutter, then it is fully onto the, onto the, uh, onto the blank or the workpiece being machined. So the time required actually, or the length A1 is something that we have to add into L to, to calculate the total distance actually that the cutter moves onto the blank. So that will be L plus A1. So A1 is equal to half the diameter of the cutter in the case where the diameter of the cutter is equal to width of the work. So let's solve an example very quickly. So we are having uh, the cutter that has a diameter of eight inches. It is a carbide face milling cutter. It is used to take out one cut across the face of the block of aluminum, which is also eight inches wide. So diameter of the cutter and the width of the workpiece are equal. The length of the workpiece is 18 inches, feed is 0 0.015 inches per tooth, and the cutter has eight teeth. How long will it take uh, to machine one cut on the block? The total over travel is half inch. So RPM is calculated in the same manner as we have been doing. 12 viewer pi D, D is the diameter of the cutter that is eight inches. So recommended RPM is 478. Approach is half the diameter of the cutter. So that is four inches. And time taken to take one cut is the length of cut over feed rate. So we add uh, approach plus over travel into it. So that is four plus half because this is the approach plus this over travel. So this turns out to be uh, approximately equal to uh, it turns out to be 0 0.40 minutes or that is equal to uh, approximately 24 seconds. Uh, please cross check the calculations, but this is uh, these are the values that we, we, we will be using to calculate the machining time. If a face milling cutter is less than the width of the work, then at least one additional cut must be uh, taken to finish the surface. Just for example, if we had uh, this cutter to be of four inches dia instead of eight inches, then we would need two cuts actually to machine this part. So whatever time we calculated uh, using this four inch uh, diameter cutter, we would multiply that oh, by two to calculate the minimum theoretical machining time. So if a face milling cutter is less than the width of the work, then at least one additional cut must be taken to finish the surface. And the final case is if a face milling cutter has a greater diameter than the width of the work, then approach is found as follows. So if the diameter, this uh, diameter D of the cutter is larger than this width of the workpiece, then how would we calculate uh, the approach allowance? So we, will, we have to solve a simple triangle a right angle triangle again in this case as well. Uh, so this is the distance that we have to calculate the approach A, the distance required for the cutter to be uh, fully on to the width of the uh, work piece. So that will be uh, solved using this triangle. So this is the half the diameter, this length, this is half the width of the workpiece, this part of the triangle. So this is W by two because this hole is W. So this much is W by two. And this is equal to D by two minus A2. So this complete, this one is uh, D by two. That is the radius of the cutter. So we have to subtract this much. So that is A or approach. So I hope it is clear to you. So D by two square will be equal to uh, W by two square plus D 
d by 2 minus a2 squared. So just using Pythagorean theorem, so approach uh, uh, when solved, when this equation is solved, appears to be equal to this. So where d is the diameter of the cutter, w is the width of the work, and a2 is the approach in millimeters or inches. So let's quickly solve an example. A 12 inch diameter carbide face milling cutter is used to take one cut across the face of a block of aluminum, which is eight uh, inches wide. So the diameter of the cutter, 12 inches, greater than the width of the workpiece, that is eight inches. The length of the block is 18 inches. Feed is 0 0.015 inches per tooth. The cutter has 10 teeth. How long will it take to machine one cut uh, on the block? Uh, so the recommended RPM is calculated using the same formula that we have been using 12 v over pi d because we have the values in inches. So diameter of the cutter is 12. So recommended RPM is 318. Practically, we will set a value closer to this value on the machine. So this is the formula for approach. So this d is the diameter of the cutter. This w is the width of the workpiece. So approach turns out to be 1.53. The time to take one cut is length of cut over feed rate. So length of cut plus approach divided by feed rate is feed into number of uh, revolutions per minute into number of teeth. So feed into uh, this RPM that we calculated multiplied with the number of teeth on the cutter, they were 10. So this turns out to be approximately 0 0.41 minutes or 25 seconds. So this is the minimum time that will be required to, to make this cut. Thank you very much.